guys. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode in my series where I show you how to draw your favorite sports logos in easy to follow, simple step by step instructions. Before we begin, I do want to say a few things. If you guys are into sports and have a lot of favorite sports teams, be sure to hit that subscribe button below this video so that you guys are notified anytime that I post brand new tutorials on your favorite sports logos. The tools that you need to draw these, as usual, is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens to ink afterwards. As you're drawing, remember that you can pause at any time so you guys can catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And also, if your logos look a little different than mine or look a little different than the actual logos that is completely acceptable, that is fine as well. Having said all of that, you guys, let's get started drawing the logo. All right, you guys, so before we get started, I've got my paper in portrait mode this time around because we've got the sword sort of going lengthwise. So that's to accommodate for that. And also, this is the very first NBA logo tutorial that I'm doing. And the reason why, mainly the reason why I'm doing this is at this time that I'm doing this, the Cavaliers are the NBA champions. So let's get started with that. Don't forget, you guys have a poll in the description of this video if you guys want to cast your vote on who your favorite NBA team is. Let me know down there. So let's get started. Okay. Um, you could use a ruler for this, and actually this time around, I'm going to use one, but if, if you don't have one, that is completely fine. And I'm just going to draw a line, two lines, going up and down, sort of around the center of my page, and I kind of want it to be about uh, this big. And this is about a quarter of an inch, or about six millimeters apart. And you just kind of want to draw it like that, okay? So here's the tip. I'm going to draw the, I'm going to find the center, and I'm just going to draw it's slightly curved, and there's the top of the sword. All right, now I'm going to try to fit all of this into the same, uh, into the, the same, uh, into the, what do you call it, the screen here. And I'm going to bring that sword all the way down to here. And I'm just going to draw a curve like that down here. So it's about this big. That's how big I want this to be. And then now let's draw the hilt. I'm going to start right here, just above that, uh, just above this curve. I'm going to draw a line going across like that. I'm going to bring this down to about this far, and this goes up to here. So you'll notice this goes down a little further, and I'm actually going to stick, make this edge, or this little point, stick out. So I'm going to draw it slightly going to the left, and now I'm going to draw a little line going across, meet this point, and I'm also going to meet this point right here. Now you want to make sure that this and this, like the width, is about the same. Okay. Now let's draw the handle, and I'm going to draw it going to about here. Let's just draw a line going across. I'm going to turn this into a curve, and I'm going to bring that curve in like that. And then I'm going to make like a letter D. Here's going to be like a, a moon shape right there. And then from here, I'm going to bring this to that point. So that's the letter D that I meant. And then lastly, from here, a line going down like this. And from this point, I'm going out like that. And then just make those two points meet. There you go. Now right above here, what we're going to do is we're going to find the center line. And you could use a ruler for this again. So make this, or find the center here and the center here. And just draw a line going down, a very faint line going down the center. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little bit uh, detailed, I guess. But you want to find a spot about there and here. Let me zoom in. Um, it's a little, about like halfway from here to here and slightly to the left, about that much and about that much. That's about a millimeter. And you kind of want to draw that line going up and down again and try to get that as parallel as you can with, uh, with, the, with the lines going up and down. Now, if you mess it up like I did, it'll look a little crooked, so you want to make sure that you got that line straight. And it's better if you guys have a clear ruler, which I currently do not have one on me right up my desk. So there you go. Oh, okay. Now let's go from here. From that line, I'm going to just draw a curve that goes from that line that we just did down to the center line, going all the way down to here. And then from here, I'm going to draw a curve. Like that to the center line as well. So that's that's what uh, that's what it should look like. Now let's find that letter C, and let's first figure out where we want the bottom of the C to be. 
That's kind of where I want the bottom of the C, a little bit higher up maybe. Maybe not that too much, not that much. About this much. And then, now you guys notice that I'm sort of dividing it. Now you guys notice I've divided it like this, and there's a reason for that, and just save it. Uh, this division is smaller than this right here. And then now let's let's try to figure out where that C is going to go. So starting with this line here, you want this to go across about this far out. Okay, so it goes like that. Now you want the same distance from here. So this distance right here should be similar to this distance right here. So you kind of want that distance right there. And you want a line that kind of looks like the Nike swoosh, just like that. Now figure out where you want the top of the C to go. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because if you don't do this right, the, that C cavalier, that letter C shape, isn't going to look right. So you want to make sure that you get this shape right. Okay? So it kind of needs to look like this. And it goes behind the sword to about here, like that. And I'm constantly going to try to get that shape right. And you guys should as well. So this goes behind the sword and this goes in front of the sword. All right, now from here, we're going to bring a line going down kind of towards the center. Okay, so imagine from here to here, there's a center. So you kind of want to bring that pointing to the center like that. Now let's figure out this line right here goes out like that. Now, before we move on, I actually want to make a little bit of a correction because you want this line and this line to be parallel to each other. So you want to adjust and make sure that these lines are very close in direction. So there and there. You want this line to go a little bit further out about the, like if I draw a line from here to here, you want this to go out about that much. Okay. So that's how you want that. Now right along here, we're going to draw a line going this way. Okay, so once you have that, we can now start to figure out the actual letter C shape. So let's start over here. We're going to bring it to there. And now from here, let's draw a line going straight down. And you want this part right here to be the biggest, the fattest part of the letter C, not including this part right here. So you want this to sort of gradually start getting bigger until you get to about here. Okay, you want this, like I said, you want this to be the fattest part of the letter C. You want to try to get that curve nice and smooth. Okay, and now you want to bring it to here. Okay, and as you cross, you want to cross right here where the second line that you drew is until you get the letter C that looks like this. Okay, and you kind of want that much space at the top. You could even draw it a little bit bigger, a little bit longer if you wish. Okay, we've got a line that goes across over here. You want it to go across about that much. And from here, you want to draw a line from here to here. That looks like this. Let's erase this part and this part. All right, so we've got the main C shape. Now let's draw the shadow. And here's the little shadow, or the little thing that makes this letter C three-dimensional. Okay, we've got this line that we drew that extends from here now, a little line like this. And you want to draw a line that's parallel to this, going down right here. Now from here to here, we're going to draw a line that is the same width going across, or going over here, just curving from there all the way to here. And finally, we're going to start from here, and here we're going to draw a little angled line like that. And again, the same width as this sort of goes right here where we did that initial line, going all the way to that line. There you go. Now lastly, over here, angled line like this, and then across. Okay, so that's pretty much the C. Let's go back over here and let's draw in, make a little shine, a stylized sheen on the hilt. It goes from, from here, goes to there, and from here to here. Sorry, I didn't mean hilt, I actually meant the crossbar. Okay, now here, 
goes back out this way and goes back out like that. Now, over here, imagine this line going, this little line that we did here, kind of follows down here, makes a little curve right there, and then goes up the center again. Over here, kind of just does that. And then down here, okay, a little angle like that, goes this way, and then goes like that. So it kind of makes this V shape. No, now I kind of messed it up there. But uh, yeah, that's sort of what it does. And then right here on the D, or the this right here, we're just going to draw two lines kind of going down this way, and then just end off right there. All right, so now here's the tricky part. We got to outline all of it. That outline is sort of yellow. So what we're going to do for all of the whole thing is we have to start outlining about this much all the way around. So it goes like that. Of course, you had a, if you had a computer, this would be super easy to do, but don't bother outlining the inside there. And then I just do that for the whole thing. And after that, you should be done. And don't forget also to outline the inner part as well. And there you go, you guys. That is how we draw the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's not their primary logo, but it is their secondary logo with the sword going uh, through the letter C. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And that's all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this tutorial. If you guys are proud of the drawings that you made, uh, head on over to the Google Plus community and post your artwork there for everybody else to enjoy. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make these videos or to do these tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. And if you guys are feeling extra generous, I also have links down below for swag such as Draw It To t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And I also have a link to my online store, draw2.storeenvy.com, where you can purchase any of my artwork. And here on YouTube, I now have a support me button that is now on the front page of my channel. Clicking on those links helps ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Google+, Instagram, Facebook, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages related to my other uh, tutorials in this channel. Again, you guys, links to those are down in the description below. Having said all of that, thank you once again. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.